Okay, so we're doing the bones of the foot, and we have some bones known as phalanges, like we saw in the hand, some metabones, these are called metatarsals, in the hand they were carpals, and then we have the tarsal bones. There's seven of them. In the hand we had carpal bones, there were eight of them. So let's start with the phalanges. There are five digits. The big toe is the first digit, okay, also known as the hallux. And like in the hand, the thumb, the pollux, it only has two phalanges, same in the toe, only two phalanges. So this is the first distal phalange of the foot, first proximal phalange of the foot, second distal, second middle, second proximal phalange, third, fourth, fifth. Then you have your meta tarsals, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And they articulate with the tarsal bones. So let's name the tarsals. The largest, which is also the heel of your foot, that's the calcaneus. Okay. Sitting on top of the calcaneus, which forms the true ankle joint, that's the talus. Okay. And has a nice smooth surface known as the trochlear. Oddly enough. In front of the calcaneus is the cuboid. In front of the talus is the navicular. The cuboid articulates with the fourth and fifth metatarsal. And then there's a separate bone, cuneiform bone, for each of the other three toes. So you have one, two, three, and you have one, two, three, cuneiform articulating with the navicular, articulating with the talus. Okay? Now, your big toe is towards the midline of your body, so this is medial. So this is the medial cuneiform. This is the lateral cuneiform for the third toe. And in between the medial and the lateral is the intermediate cuneiform. One, two, three, medial, intermediate, lateral cuneiform, navicular, talus, cuboid, calcaneus, the foot. 